Hey there, welcome back. Today I want to show you how I got airdrop and other continuity features working on my SS Hackintosh. It's been quite a journey and I'm excited to share with you. First thing first, let's dive into system information to check out our Bluetooth and Wi-Fi settings. Hold down that Alt key and give that Apple logo in the menu bar a click. Head over to Bluetooth section. Now here where things get interesting. My Bluetooth chipset is currently showing as third-party dongle. And for Wi-Fi, it's rocking the ITL WM 2.3.0 firmware. To make all this work seamlessly, we need to make some changes. Let's start by mounting the EFI partition. This step is crucial for upcoming tweaks. Next up, we are going to disable those Intel Bluetooth kex and bid farewell to airport ITLM. Don't worry, we'll be making a copy of the working EFI, just in case. Once all the changes are done, it's time to save the config.plist file and gracefully shut down the laptop. Now let's flip the laptop and get hands on. For me there are only few screws holding that back panel in place. Piece of cake. With the back panel off, it's time to disconnect the antenna and remove that single screw which is holding the stock Wi-Fi card in place. I am upgrading to a BCM94360CS2 card which is an Apple OEM and I've got this compatible adapter that works like a charm. Inserting the adapter into the Wi-Fi card slot is a straightforward task, followed by screwing it down. To keep everything secure, I am using Kapton tape on the screw and a piece of sponge on the adapter. Trust me, it will work wonders. Now it's time to insert the card into the adapter and attach the antenna in J0. Don't miss this step, it's crucial for strong signal. We are almost here. Cover the card with Kapton tape and a piece of sponge for added security. Close up the back cover and let's fire up the laptop. And there you have it, AirDrop is working smoothly in both directions and all the fantastic continuity features are back in action. Thank you for tuning in guys. If you have any questions or need extra guidance, drop them in the comment section down below. Have a fantastic day and happy hacking.